It's here! Well, almost here. Just one week remains until conferences kick off for E3. Deep breaths, people. We're in the home stretch. For now, let's see what news trended the most this week. Number five, this week marked the end of an era as the PlayStation 3 officially ceased production. Gamatsu reported how the official PlayStation website page for the 500 gigabyte PS3 version is now marked as ended, and as that was the only model in production in Japan, it's safe to say our goodbyes to the beloved PS3. The birthplace of games like The Last of Us and Little Big Planet, you will forever be remembered. Number four, Ubisoft got a new haircut and now the internet isn't sure what to think. Ubisoft revealed a new logo this week, an update to the familiar blue swirl that's been around since 2003. It's now a cool white and still looks reminiscent of the original design, which Ubisoft describes as a take on the colors and textures of our worlds. Hey, it's a logo, so as long as the games remain awesome, I'm good. Number three, America. Are you ready for Super Nintendo World? Nintendo filed a US trademark for the theme park and it looks like it may even feature kart racing. Uh, yes. In the filing, the company mentions management or arrangement of kart racing, which fills me with so much joy. Real life Mario Kart, guys, it's happening. Number two, as we do every month, here's your PlayStation Plus free games lineup for this month. PlayStation 4 owners can now play Killing Floor 2 and Life is Strange for free. PS3 owners, you get Abyss Odyssey and WRC 5 World Rally Championship, while Vita lovers have fun with Neon Chrome and Spy Chameleon. Enjoy the freeness! And number one, some new merchandise from Ubisoft seems to point to the location and protagonist of our next Assassin's Creed game, likely titled Assassin's Creed Origins. The merch shirt in question reveals the Egyptian symbol for the Eye of Horus in the middle of the AC crust location, 49 BCE, our time period, and a hero wielding a bow who appears to be our protagonist, Bayek. I foresee a lot of this to be highlighted at UB's conference in just one week's time at E3. And those are your top five stories of the week. Be sure to watch the rest of our Daily Fix episodes for more news. And don't forget to saddle up to our up noon segment highlighting the growth of the Red Dead series, partner. Pew, 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 pew. Anyway, have a great weekend, everyone.